So in this video, I am going to be breaking down the thing that I promised you guys from the very beginning. This funder S attack formula that I mentioned in my PSO2 why should I fix, what is it, a brain kernel or in the description. But I'm going to show you guys how to make this funder attack unit. I would advise you guys to think about this before you try to get it. If you're playing on North America, obviously you can't get this because there's a bunch of stuff that you guys don't have. You are not up to date. You do not have timed abilities. You do not have S-class abilities, etc., etc. But, um, yeah, this thing is fun to S-attack. You can swap it around so you can get R-attack and T-attack. But this is only towards the arm unit because S7 is an arm unit. You cannot try. You cannot replicate this on the rear and the leg. So this is strictly for your arm, but it's a whopping plus four hundred. This is going to be expensive. I will state that right now because these things aren't cheap, and especially with this mark, I'll explain why it's costly. But uh, another thing I will have to disclose would be this yellow timed ability up here, because the rare drop. Bonus 5 is more of, of a timed ability which then leads into crafting. I'm not a crafter, I'm a fixer. There's a difference between a timed ability and a regular ability. I will make a video due time, it's just it's going to take me a while because I'm not a crafter in the game. But yeah, this thing actually gives a plus whopping 70 S attack. Now, the timed ability can be some other stats, but for this one, it's focused to the S attack, which... This unit piece is at plus 330, but with the timed ability, it adds to 70, which then pops it to 400. Before I go into the breakdown of this video, and yes, I decided to turn around with it a bit, but I'll have to explain certain things here and there. Understand that you need to know a bunch of stuff that I've already covered in the affixing playlist. I advise you to look in the description more than the upper right corner, just because there will be stuff that will be separated. For example, there's going to be a section where it says this is the stuff you need to watch so you can understand this and then there's other videos that I have down there but you don't need to watch it as much. But yeah, once again, this is going to be the formula that you are trying to make. S7, attack up to Grand Power, Power 5, Mark Angra, Elder Reverie, Ethifactor, Arix Max, and Apprentice, so 8 slot. You want to have it at an 8 slot. You want to try to finalize everything at an 8 slot. If you do want to try to up slot it, I would say use the ability transfer method. However, that's going to eat up a lot of your ability transfer passes. And if you got a lot of units you need to tar around with and stuff, you may not want to use that option. So, ooh, this is going to be something to work with. Now, Here's the thing when it comes to this particular formula. One of this fodder slot is going to be taken up and you can't do much with it. You cannot manipulate it because it has a mark receptor. You cannot transfer a receptor unless you got the pop item for it. Then you have some leeway. The thing is though, these things are rare in a sense. Right now, in the Japanese PS2 from July... I know. The Star Gen Scratch has a certain date for it. I'll have it in the description when I figure it out or when I look it up. But the Star Gem Scratch support item will last for a while in the year 2020, July something. Actually, better yet, let me look at that bump real quick. But yeah, the thing is, this is a pop item. Oh, this will last until the end of July. And let me just bring it up over here. These are the pop items. This allows you to place it on a weapon and or unit at whatever slot number you have it at. You decide to pop one of these items and you can create a lot of flexibility in your formula because now you can actually shove this mark receptor on a fodder piece that may have like Factor, Catalyst, Arx Fever, and Ether So, I'm gonna state this. Don't put this thing while you try to make a fucking Catalyst because the catalyst is a 50-50. Oh no, excuse me, it's not 50-50. It's a low percentage. You don't want to gamble with that. Put the mark receptor somewhere on a safe unit piece. So, let's say I want to rework this formula so there's a lot more leeway with this. 
Mm, da, 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 da. So, da, 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 da. and also note that there, there is a pop item for the Mark Angra as well. But once again, these pop items are not invincible when it comes to upsliding and when it comes to finalizing and gambling and stuff. So even though this could be at 100%, if you were trying to make like a factor catalyst, that factor catalyst is going to be the issue out of any other thing you do, this thing is going to be the bitch. You want to do this on a boost week. You want to do this on a boost week. I I'm going to state that right now because these catalysts are going to be what might eat up a bunch of your setup. And I apologize for my bad English. I am like kind of dying here, but <laughs> Alright, so how I want to do this. So I would put the receptor over here instead. I would also Let me move that. Have factor catalyst by itself if possible. And a fever over here. So I don't need to worry about as much with this thing. You will have to have the S class ability on your first unit piece. If you can use, or if you can have the apprentice soul transfer easily, then that's fine. The Elder Reverie is gonna be tr tricky if it's not already at an A slot, and you wouldn't want that. This should be a eight slot now. So this should be fine. So I can help you like lessen your your other pieces over here. Now I said to Mark Angra, you would not want that catalyst with that. You can, however, try to get an Arx Fever over here, so you can lessen the load on these other things. Hell, if you want, you can actually have an Ether so over here. I think it should be hard to make ether so what was it to -o. you need to -o, and then you need like vegas episode four souls this is 10 percent now nah, now nah, that that's bad that is bad you don't want that was that formula i was working with yeah now nah, you don't want this together because this is like a catalyst just worse so you can just leave it on this piece over here you're already gambling with a catalyst might as well gamble with a soul as well You can either put a fever over here, or you can put a fever over here. You just need three of them somewhere. Then there's Elder Reverie. You'll need three of these. If you can do this on a high percent, I think it's either 10 or a 15, then the Elder Reverie wouldn't be so bad over here. You also need a apprentice, so you could also have that over here too. But it depends on if you can smush them all together. Factor Catalyst, Elder Reverie. I should be able to get most of the abilities again. So X Max, that, that, and then it should be green. Grand P. Not missing an ability. What ability am I missing? Power. Alright, so something like this can work, but this is if you have a pop item and you have some control over it. So you can put your Mark Receptor in the first slot, or your first fodder piece that has the S class ability, Apprentice Cell Power, for an Arx Fever. Then for the second one, you can have Angra in that one as well. 
only issue might be the Elder Reverie and the Apprentice, though, depending on how you go about it. The Fever will be easy to transfer. And then these are just horrendous because they have factors on them. And one of them has both factor, well, the Catalyst on them. And then one of them has Ether Cell, which is, once again, this thing over here that's at a 10%. Let me explain how to make the... I can get rid of these now, because I don't need to stare at them. Let me explain how to make this first unit piece. Once again, you want to try to push this to an 8 side. You don't want to finalize anything at like a 7 side or a 6 side, then you work your way up. You can technically, but it's easier if you, all of your affixes are at a high percentage. The S-class ability will not be affected by the F slot penalty. The problem will be everything else if it's not as class ability so let's go over here and let me see this so to make that let's say now th this is just gonna be an easy one because it doesn't have a lot in demand I will make a video talking about mutations and how they can help you when it comes to making a bunch of affixes but you want power three somewhere in your formula then you would also want mutation two somewhere you can try to transfer this ability it's not that hard if you have multiple copies of them like the driving rain right now has a bunch of these grade threes and i've been toying around with uh with them and just make it into grade fours i might actually make a grade five Was it Arx Fever and then Apprentice Soul? Apprentice Soul shouldn't be too bad to buy if you don't have it. And you could kind of mash them up with the uh, Power 3 as well. And then you just need Arx Fever somewhere. I would just put an Arx Fever. Arx Fever over here. And then let's start putting in Jung abilities. And if you want, just to lessen the fodder space, you can, like, have this over here instead. So, like, one of these. So you don't quadruple that price. Something like that. And then I'll just say... Oh, I like dragging it better. But three, six. I already have that. What do I? What letter do I not have? A, B, C, D, E. There might be a chance that you can get something like this. Let's have four, eight. Oh, you can just have that. Three, six. Uh, I need something else. Just to fill in the gap. Better yet, let me just have one. That should be able to pull up all these. So, to get this first one. It's S attack, apprentice cell, Arx fever, power four, and everything else is junk. Oh wait. Yeah, the mark has to be added too. So with the pop item, I will show this in a separate video in game later. I don't need to show that anymore. Instead of getting a junk, what you will end up doing is popping this item, this receptor on this particular piece here. Where's Mark Receptor? Mark Receptor. Mark Receptor is a thing. Come on. Mm. Let's just put it here. I think it's a new item since they don't have it here. Catalyst. Oh, there it is. So yeah, you get to do this. You can't choose any more abilities because it's 8 slot. You can do it, but if you got like a 
let's say this is uh, with a 15%. And all you need to do is just use a 30. Everything's at 100%. You're good with this fodder piece. You have what you need for your first formula right here. Now, uh, the second one. This one's going to be tricky. Prentice isn't that bad to work with. It's the old reverie I'm worried about. So, once again, pop item for Mark Reverie, so you don't need to worry about that till the end. You need to increase your chance of the Reverie in the Soul. Fever, easy transfer. Actually, instead of reworking all of this stuff, let me just copy this. And then I can swap it up here. I need, what, A, B, C, D, E, F, I. Get rid of this. That should be 8. Yeah, that's 8. Is it power 3? No, power 3 is not on this one. You can shove a power 3 over here instead. Instead of one of these pieces, because it's going to be a pain in the butt slightly. Because you got that catalyst that might fuck it up. But then again, power 3. Power 3s aren't that bad to get now. Well, if you're playing on Japanese pieces, you have no clue about North America. So, what you need now is a reverie. And then you need fever somewhere. What was it? Elder. Hmm. You need three apprentice cells somewhere, then three every every ability somewhere. You can do something like this, because I know that every does not drop with Rx Fever. Depending on if you want to shove the or use a bunch of Elder Revery copies to try to slap on Rx Fever, that's on you. Or use two at the very least. Um. You still got this sort of thing you had to make over here. You don't need to have power 3 with it. But you will most likely have to combine an apprentice cell and elder reverie together. If you do not want to put Rx Fever with an elder reverie. And then this will give you the highest chance of trying to transfer this thing. At an 8 slot. And since it's a 15% you can use... I would say go with a 40, just so you don't need to deal with that small little 5% that can screw you over. But you can use that 30, and it should be able to succeed most of the time. Yeah, most of the time it's succeeding. It's you, it's your call if you want to tempt fate. But that should be able to, actually no, I forgot one little thing. And then, you would want to pop the pop item because this is a pop item though I would use a 40 I don't care if it costs me 100 X cubes I'm gonna use it so I do not have that like mess up and then have the markability stuck on this unit piece because that should give you what elder arc fever and then a power 4 I'll just have power 4 over here just in case alright here comes the annoying part making these pieces Actually, no, I don't need another apprentice cell on one of these. Wait, no, this one is going to have one. This is fine. That is fine. Oh, that has an at there, so I'm going to save that one for last. Let me go to Fodder 5 and explain how to break that one down, because that's like the easiest one out of these. So, factors. Actually, can I okay, Yeah, let, let me just copy this instead of then turn around. And then I can just like shove random stuff here and there. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I could technically get rid of the fevers. I mean, the elder every two. But I'm gonna save it here so I can explain the other half. Actually, let me let me just dumb it down to the bare minimum. Don't 
Don't need that. Don't need that. What did I not put? Let's put you there. There's a fever here. Don't need to worry about mutation. You just need three. And let me just put that there. What was it? Power, factor, arc fever. So, power, arc fever. And I forgot something, did I? Yamato, I need deuce. Deuce factor. And then you go for this thing right here. Yeah, with that 50% making the power four easy to deal with, it's just that the catalyst is what you're what you're most worried about. You got a 50 50 shot. I mean, it says 55. But um, yeah. That, that's what you need to do so you can get this fodder piece here. So taking this, let's copy. Now you're gonna need to try to make, yeah, I'm gonna save that one for that. That one's gonna be a headache. Well, it's not gonna be a huge headache. Cause all you're doing is just having a soul somewhere, two particular souls, which is like this one and then Vegas. Let's go with Vegas one. And then you don't need to worry about the reverie as much, so get rid of that. I think it's the So you still need a mutation somewhere. You might be able to get a fodder piece like this. If not, then you can just buy some, but like three Vegas and then three mutation twos at eight slot, combine them. Should be able to get them both to transfer easily. But yeah, you get something like this, and then you're gonna have to try to get Factor, Ether, so Arx Fever, and then a Power Four. And then everything else. Use either 30 or 40. And you're going to be gambling on two of these abilities. One of them failed. That one succeed. Let's do another one. Yeah, it's... This is this is the thing that might kill you if you're not careful. But at the very least, the flip side to this is that it's not that bad. Because you're not using a pop item on it. You're not having like some other ability on it like Elder Reverie. Even though it's... A, it's what? Elder Reverie... The thing about Elder Reverie in the Japanese PS2 is that it's high on demand because it's towards S attack. This thing can give you plus, well, plus 40 S attack, plus 20 R and T attack, but it minus 2 PP. It doesn't matter, like that 2 PP is small. Do you want that S, that S attack bonus at plus 40? So it's high on demand and a lot of people like playing on, on uh, melee classes. But yeah, you're not you're not risking as much. But once you get that piece, you have technically covered most of this formula. All right, so you can put the apprentice soul in some other slot that I already talked about. Like for example, if you were making fodder five, you can't have the apprentice soul in there. Just what? I think this is the one that has it, yeah. So, da, 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 da. it's gonna take a bit of manipulation. I would say, if you want, you can put an apprentice o with this first slot because this factor, there's a way to farm it. You can get a bunch of these fodder pieces, but I don't know if you can try to aim for an eight slot. Or if an ace slot can drop. I mean, it's randomized, so you won't have any huge control over it. But it shouldn't be that bad in terms of buying it. Only thing you might need to do is a bit of manipulation on this end. Like, put power 3 with the apprentice cell. And then you can make apprentice cell, arc fever factor, catalyst, and then power 4. All these other abilities use a, what, 30%. And then you're, you're dealing with the catalyst in itself. Note that once again, this is with the 15%. And if you decide to go down that route, then you don't need to have like this Elder Reverie and Apprentice so together. 
Alright, let me talk about this piece over here, Fodder 3. This has power 4. Wait, how many powers 4 did I make? You need 3 of these, so... Oh yeah, I overemphasize that. Yeah. You could take power 4 out of whatever fodder piece that you decide to stare at or like make and just put it to wh whichever one you like. I didn't realize I, I was doing power 4 is a bit too much. I, I've i been doing a bunch of fixes on Japanese PS2. I've been dealing with a fucking ton of grade 3 abilities and it's just easy for me to just shove them aside. So yeah, uh, dumb down this formula, just get rid of two of these somewhere. Let me, for the sake of my own sanity, let me just get rid of this stuff over here. So it's a bit easier to deal with now, since three of these should already have like the power of three. Talk about this piece. Elder oh, Reverie Factor Catalyst Arx Fever. What you want to do... Arx Fever is there. Yeah, out of worry with a fever is not going to be a thing, so I'm going to have to put it somewhere else. Get ignore that total. You can ignore the power threes. It's going to be over here. Excuse me. That should be it for that piece. Elder, Factor, and the Arcs. Over here you can see Elder Factor. Slap on a 40 or 30% your call. I would just slap a 30% because you're still gambling with that catalyst. Oh wow, that's the unluckiest one that kicked in. But yeah, hopefully does, that does not happen to you if you decide to make this fodder piece here. But once you got that, the only one you had to deal with now would be... That one's taking care of this one. Alright, so let's say... Let's imagine you didn't make this with an apprentice, so... And you have something like this you want to try to attempt. This is going to give you a slight headache. I would advise you, if you decide to go down this route... Do not ha try to have the Elder Reveries with the Apprentice so Just because, once again, I understand that the Japanese market right now, especially on the ship that I'm in, the Elder Reveries cost a ton. There's no point of you getting like copies so you can just mix them up with the Apprentice so and just spend a bunch of money. What you can do is have them separate yeah this is gonna be a problem Maybe just swap that around. This is something that you would want instead of whatever I taught. Just because... I forgot to consider that, or I did mention it, but I guess it didn't hit me until now. Like, the Elder Reveries are expensive by themselves, and you don't want multiple copies just so you can have like something like this. Like, you don't want to buy two of these, or like three of these, and then you've had to buy another three... So you can try to get something like this. You, you don't want that just because you're spending a bunch of money. Doing something like this would be a bit cheaper than something like Elder Reverie and Arx Fever. With that in mind, just staring at this right now, it's going to be hard to not combine an Apprentice Soul with a Reverie. Because you'll need like three Apprentice Soul to maximize the percentage 
as much unless you want to gamble. If you want to gamble, you could do something like this. It's already at a sauce, so you don't need to worry about any sort of upslot penalty. Use a 30%, then you can try to push it, but two of these abilities will not be at 100%. But it should succeed most of the time, granted that the catalyst is the only thing that would be your downfall with making this 8 slot. Well, once you are done with that, you get the fodder pieces you need, so you can try to upslot this all. I mean, so you can finalize it all. Only thing is, you need to go all out so you can not fuck this up. Because there is still a risk, a chance that everything can fail. Which is why I encourage you to do it on in a fix week. Wait, I feel like I chose something extra. Yeah, the Arx Fever. And then you would want this. The Grand P. You would want to use... That grant that 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 power five is what might fuck you over. Everything else can be dealt with. You can get this to a hundred percent. That power five is a fucker, fucker. But there is a forty-five percent ability success rate boost that the game gives out every now and then, or it depends on if you complete a certain title that can give you 45. You want to use the 45 if possible to do this. I am not. You can use a 40, but I, I still don't like that 85%. Like, I'll use whatever ability success booster I have to make sure that power goes through. Everything else is manageable, especially on a 50% and you use a 40%. We're good. It's just that that power is the uh, issue. Yeah, I, I don't like it when it fails. Especially if it's finalized, so... I mean, if you also got a 50% too, use it. Use whatever you need so you can finalize this masterpiece. But this is how you can create the 400S attack unit. And once again, this is with PP. If you click on the details, just note that um, it's not adding that 45 from the S-class ability. It says plus 45 right here, but it doesn't actually add it. If you add it, you'll, you'll get the numbers that are on the video, which is what, the 210 RNT attack and then the 330S attack. And then you put your time ability in there too, 70S attack, you get 400. And you might be wondering, okay Morph, how do I swap this so it can go to R or T attack? Easy. Instead of doing what I stated with the powers and stuff, Swap it with the, uh, but either shoot or the technique. I don't know what's the North American names for him. You guys can figure that out. Let's say, let's say I want to try to get this into a shoot or make it towards S, uh, no, R attack. So all you need to do is find. Actually, I might need to just do that. And then... Just replace the power fours with the shoot threes. I'm just going to have it in the same thing. Just so I don't need to change it up as much. You got printed so you got that. Uh, instead of the what, Elder Reverie, you want to go for Apigena. Where's the other one? I know I have another reverie around here somewhere in this formula. Oh, it's right here. I'm blind. And then what you want to do is select all these same abilities. Except instead of the Elder Reverie, you get the Apragina Reverie. And then you go for Shoot 5. And then you, instead of going for what, the Grand P, you go for the other thing, which is Grand S, Grand Shoot. And you can see that everything is the same except instead of having the uh, S attack being like at 285 in this sheet, R attack is at 285. And then you can go back in this formula and just swap all these things with uh, shoots instead. And like uh, Apergina Reverie. 
And then to get a T attack one, go over here. Get loser in here instead. Swap the tech uh, the shoot. Shoot and powers with a technique instead. Print is so at the fact that lose a reverie. Arx Max Mark Angra Technique five and then the pop item for technique grand T twenty five for the T attack. So that's it for this formula. This is how you get your find attack formula. This is only usable on the arm because the other S class do not have the all attack up two. They have like a regular attack up, a grade one of them. They might add the second one later, but yeah. And when it comes to the rear, they don't really have anything that emphasizes on the boost two. Well, they have these down here, but once again, it's not like the grade two. They might add that later, but for now, we only got the grade ones. The only one that has a grade two types is the arm one. Kind of makes sense because you know your arms you need to use your arms so you can actually use your weapon except if you're playing like jet boots for example that that you use your legs anyways that's it for this video if you got any questions comment concerns put it down below thank you guys for watching the video i'll see you in the next one peace